Hi guys, Dr. Clayson here. So this semester I'm trying something new with online discussion questions. Previously for online discussions, I have required students to write one original post and then two responses to peers. And that's pretty common in online classes, so that might not be new to you. Um, but in my classes, what this has meant is that often discussions are kind of short with each individual usually only contributing like a paragraph's worth of content and then piecing out. Um, so do original posters or OPs uh, even come back to read the replies? Uh, sometimes maybe, but not often and I honestly don't blame them because it's, you know, the conversation doesn't end up being very engaging. And uh, also, frankly, that's not the way that discussion happens in, in other um, if you want to call it more authentic online spaces. There aren't arbitrary time constraints for holding a discussion on Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit like there are in an online classroom. To be fair, conversation usually happens more quickly in these environments with contributors checking in multiple times per day, per hour, per minute maybe, uh, especially if a conversation is heated and if their time and schedule allow. And I know that an online class space is not the same environment as social media, but I think changing some of the requirements for online class discussion might help us emulate some of the positive elements of social media exchange, like more in-depth discussion. So with that in mind, over the course of the semester, we will have just a few major forums. Each forum will have a date range during which you'll be expected to contribute to the forum. And you can contribute in one of two ways. You can, if you like, introduce a new topic by creating a new topic thread. However, you can also just respond to an ongoing thread. And in fact, I'd encourage you to more frequently respond to ongoing threads than starting new ones. Um, because we want to, again, have more engaged and more in-depth discussions about specific things as opposed to a lot of smaller discussions about a bunch of different things. Um, however, I don't want to shut down the possibility of new topics, especially if it's something you really want to discuss and isn't already being discussed somewhere else. Um, so it is also an option. So the goal of these forums are deep, sustained discussion, wherein we allow new readings each week to inform our understanding of and our contributions to the topics discussed. So to that end, I will expect you to post twice per week um, to any of the active open forums, and I will expect your posts, whether OPs or replies, to do a few things. So first, you want to demonstrate active engagement with and deep reflection upon the readings, and second, you want to demonstrate thoughtful consideration of previous posts. So responses should spend sufficient time responding to the previous post before introducing a new idea. So if we want to apply the metaphor of a face-to-face -face conversation to uh, an online discussion board, which it is just a metaphor, it is not by any means the same thing, right? But if we want to apply that metaphor, it shouldn't just look like you're waiting for the previous person to finish what they're going to say uh, before jumping in with something that's kind of only tangentially related. You want to actually, you know, engage with what the previous person is saying first before kind of going in a different direction. Um, the idea is to listen and to demonstrate that you are listening by responding thoughtfully to what the person says as opposed to just saying, yeah, I agree. Now moving on, you know, so we want to really actively engage with um, the previous posters. Even though it sometimes feels like the point of grad classes might be to sound like the smartest person in the room or chat room, um, that's not the goal of these discussion posts. Um, the goal for these discussion posts um, is to encourage that deep listening and thoughtful responding to your colleagues um, instead of just kind of jumping in and saying, ah, but have you thought of this? Maybe, maybe not, but did you respond to the thing that I said first? You know, so that we want, we want thoughtful, deep discussion that both brings in the readings and discusses the readings, but that also discusses your colleagues' viewpoints as well and the things that they say about the readings as well. We're all smart here, um, so you don't necessarily have to try and make your post about showcasing your smartness. Um, so, 
I'm really excited about trying this new um, approach to discussion boards. I want to thank you all for going on this journey with me this semester, and I will see you in the classroom and in the forums.